morning everybody, it's right. morning everybody, we're slightly early today, very early in fact, because uh, for the first time for months and months and months I'm going to meet my friends that I worked with uh, at a uh, Overton Farm for coffee. So I haven't seen them f at least a year and a half, if not longer, uh, because we probably wouldn't have met up in the winter before the lockdown. So it must be a long, long time since we've met up. So today, a number of us are managing to get together for coffee at Overton Farm Coffee Shop, which I believe is called The Oven. And hopefully it's cool today and it wouldn't be like sitting in an oven. So I um, hope everybody's doing okay. We still haven't had really all the bad rain and thunder that we were uh, promised. So hopefully that has gone away somewhere else over the sea and we have missed it out completely. So Westcott Weekly went out last night uh, and um, did include in that quite a number of people who are on the prayer list. So hopefully you can add these people to your prayers and um, get them uh, lots and lots of um, prayers for uh, whatever reason. Some people ill, uh, so unfortunately some bereaved people. So um, just uh, have a wee look there and add them to your list if you can. So, we've been reading the story of Daniel, and today we're on to Daniel chapter 3, and uh, we will read half of that, I think, today, and keep it going for probably this, the rest of this week, and probably into next week. So this is Daniel chapter 3, and it's entitled, Nebuchadnezzar commands everyone to worship a gold statue. King Nebuchadnezzar had a gold statue made, 90 feet high and 9 feet wide, and he had it set up in the plain of Jura in the province of Babylon. Then the king gave orders for all his officials to come together. The princes, governors, lieutenant governors, commissioners, treasurers, judges, magistrates and all the other officials of the provinces. They were to attend the dedication of the statue which King Nebuchadnezzar had set up. When all these officials gathered for the dedication and stood in front of the statue, a herald announced in a loud voice, People of all nations, races and languages, you will hear the sound of the trumpets, followed by the playing of oboes, lyres, zithers and harps, and then all the other instruments will join in. As soon as the music starts, you are to bow down and worship the gold statue that King Nebuchadnezzar has set up. Anyone who does not bow down and worship will immediately be thrown into a blazing furnace. And so, as soon as they heard the sound of the instruments, the people of all the nations, races and languages bowed down and worshipped the gold statue which King Nebuchadnezzar had set up. It was then that some Babylonians took the opportunity to denounce the Jews. They said to King Nebuchadnezzar, May your majesty live forever. Your majesty has issued an order that as soon as the music starts, everyone is to bow down and worship the gold statue, and that anyone who does not bow down and worship it is to be thrown into a blazing furnace. There are some Jews whom you put in charge of the province of Babylon, Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego, who are disobeying your majesty's orders. They do not worship your god or bow down to the statue you set up. At that, the king flew into a rage and ordered the three men to be brought before him. He said to them, Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego, is it true that you refuse to worship my God and to bow down to the gold statue I have set up? Now then, as soon as you hear the sound of the trumpets, oboes, lyres, zithers, harps and all the other instruments, bow down and worship the statue. If you do not, you will immediately be thrown into a blazing furnace. Do you think there is any God that can save you? Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego answered, Your Majesty, we will not try to defend ourselves. If the God whom we serve is able to save us from the blazing furnace and from your power, then he will. But even if he doesn't, Your Majesty may be sure that we will not worship your God and we will not bow down to the gold statue that you have set up. Amen. And God bless this reading from Daniel chapter 3. And we will hear the rest of Daniel, or the rest of this chapter certainly, tomorrow. So, have a good day everybody. There's the sun coming out again. Uh, hopefully not as warm. We did go down to Troon yesterday. Uh, we haven't been down for ages. We didn't go down because it was too warm. 
We went down to Troon yesterday, we got the seats out on the beach and we were sitting there for about five minutes and it did start to rain. So hopefully that's not going to happen today. Um, so take care everybody, look after yourself and we will see you tomorrow. Bye.